Today I'm gonna teach you how to get rid of aphids on a single plant, but with love. I have a chiltepin plant, which is a chili pepper species from uh, Mexico, exactly from the northern state of Sonora. Uh, it's by far one of the tastiest uh, chili paper I have ever eaten. It's definitely on my top three. The issue is that I've recently noticed that they have aphids, but the really unusual kind, they are like really different. Let me show you. So yeah, I checked the plant. Well, right now like this, you can't really tell where they are. But well, I took the plant and I thought, well, let's go and let's take some picture. And as you can see, uh, I've got a little help on the way. So here are the bad guys. I mean, you can see that they're really, really um, peculiar. They're not uh, like the usual aphids you can see. They're like black with like uh, fluffy parts. Um, and unfortunately, I couldn't get an ID uh, because I don't have a micro loop. Here you are when they are alone and on the back. So as you can see, when you touch the fluff, when we move the, the insect from the, the plant, the fluff fell uh, away. Look, here, yeah, it's gone. There is no... The fluff is... is yeah, got erased or something, or, or removed. So I don't know, I don't know what they are. If uh, you guys know uh, some aphid specialist, or if you are one yourself, please help me. I'm, I have no idea. Here are a couple of pictures you can find on the Facebook page and the Instagram of the channel. Please, if you, re if you do know what they are, please uh, talk to me. I'm really curious. So first I was going to use like the usual eco-friendly method to get rid of uh, aphids, you know, uh, uh, soapy, oil, uh, soapy water, uh, neem oil, and uh, the essential oils. But I thought, you know what, I mean, the, I only have the issue, uh, the aphid issue on one single plant, and why do I have plants on my terrace anyway? You know, certainly not to have like an industrial harvest of chili paper or what it is. Well, to take care of them, to have one-to-one -one time with them. So I decided to brush them away instead of uh, spraying uh, or sopping or doing any uh, classic method. So as you can see, I use like a painting brush, like an artistic painting brush, and I just brush them away, just like this, you know, when I s wherever I see one, I remove it. Oh yeah, also I had this um, mosquito repellent bottle, like a old one like with some residuals in it, and I decided to put some water inside, you know, mix it, and spray it on the plants so uh, as a preventive uh, action you know so it gives a little rest to the plant because it still has tr the trauma of the, the previous uh, aphid invasion so yeah preventive and you know um, quite uh, uh, inoffensive for a human consumption obviously because if you put it on your skin uh, at full concentration I assume that you can put it uh, you can injure it uh, really diluted that really diluted. So one month later, well, the plant shows some gratitude. Look, these two little guys, you know, pretty happy. Well, the plant don't look like uh, the, you know, uh, happiest uh, plant in the world, but don't uh, lose in mind. I mean, don't forget that, you know, this is a terrace and, you know, the, they are really exposed to really strong sun and wind, which is not what you want for a typical chiltepin uh, chili paper. But well, it was pretty okay. Bottom line, uh, take care of your plant as if they were your pets, you know, they deserve it. Take some time, spend one-to-one one -to -one time with them, you know, live per leaf, you know, love them. They are your green pets. So, yeah, with that I will finish. So take care, you guys, and please don't forget to subscribe. See you later.